Hey everyone, thanks for coming back and giving me some of your time. This promises to be a busier few weeks tracking the delivery of Core Stage 2, the SLS Core Stage for Artemis 2. This morning, July 16th, prime contractor Boeing rolled the stage out at the Michoud Assembly Facility, moving it on self-propelled modular transporters and ground support equipment from the factory where it was assembled over a mile's worth of land at the facility to NASA's Pegasus Barge. Plans are for Pegasus to be towed with the stage inside from New Orleans East, out into the Gulf of Mexico, around the Florida Peninsula, and eventually to the Kennedy Space Center over the next several days. In this video, I'm going to run through a little bit of the rollout event and some of what I saw today. As you saw me squinting, I stopped at the Machute Assembly Facility on Monday, July 15th to pick up a badge but the international media were taken through the facility on that day and some spaceflight awareness events were also going on for the workforce. On rollout day, which was earlier today, Tuesday, July 16th, I drove to MAF a little before 5 a.m. local and got to the tarmac area a few minutes later, but building 110, where the stage was parked, still had its doors closed, so there wasn't much to see except a thunderstorm off to the south. The doors opened at about 6.30 a.m. local time, which is Central Daylight Time currently, or UTC minus 5 hours. So that was about 11.30 UTC. The stage was positioned in the transfer aisle similarly to the first rollout with the aft end where the engines are facing out the doors. Several minutes later, the move team started backing the stage out of the transfer aisle, and I posted a few shorts here during that period of time. The move team turned the stage around like the first vehicle, since both of them were backed out of the building. After backing out far enough for the forward end to clear the doors, the stage was slowly turned counterclockwise until it was pointing out of the gate. We saw a picture on social media the night before showing that a different weather covering was placed over the forward flange of the stage's forward skirt. I asked Boeing's Amanda Gerda Jansen about that a little earlier before sunrise, and she said that they are using this one because the stage will only be outside like this for short periods of time. Basically just for the couple of hours rolling out to the barge today, and then another hour or two rolling off the barge at KSC when it gets there. The white weather cover used for the first core stage was meant for longer duration periods outside. Core Stage 1 went to the Stennis Space Center in nearby southern Mississippi and the B-2 test stand there for the green run. Similarly, the Exploration Upper Stage flight article for Artemis 4, the first Block 1B flight, will also travel to Stennis for a green run, and that's where the white weather cover will be used again. While the move team continued with the stage out the gate and towards Venus Drive, a ceremony with the workforce to celebrate their completion of the stage and delivery to KSC occurred in the tarmac area we were staying in. During the ceremony, the stage was rolled out, turned left onto Venus Drive, and then right onto Saturn Boulevard and headed down towards the barge. We spoke with a couple of people in NASA leadership for a few minutes, and then two of the Artemis crew, Commander Reed Weissman and Mission Specialist Jeremy Hansen for a few minutes, and then we tried to chase down the stage on foot. But the move was going smoothly, and the move team hadn't stopped very much, so by the time we got to the intersection of Venus and Saturn, it was off in the distance. Being on the tarmac in front of the final assembly area this time versus outside the gate for the first rollout, we got a much better, closer look at the stage as it made the sweeping turn to head out of the area. But not so much of it after that. In the mid-afternoon, NASA Public Affairs began releasing some shots of the stage as it approached Pegasus and was rolled onto the barge. Here are a few of those pictures. While the Boeing move team was loading the stage onto the barge, we went inside the factory for a tour of the floor of the Building 103 complex, which includes Building 115 that adjoins it on the east end, and Buildings 110 and 114 on the west end where Core Stage 2 just rolled out a few hours earlier. I will report on what we saw and what we heard about the status of hardware for Core Stage 3, Core Stage 4, and Exploration Upper Stage in an upcoming video. 
The end of the factory tour was the end of the media event, and we'll look forward to seeing the stage arrive at the Kennedy Space Center. There was more time planned to talk to subject matter experts, but with the rollout going faster than predicted, that got bumped. All the big picture questions for Artemis 2 and Artemis 3 remain outstanding, but I got a little bit of color about at least the status of core stage hardware for Artemis 3 and 4 during the factory tour. Maybe we'll get a better idea about Artemis 2 planning at the KSC media event when the core stage arrives there. And I will come back to the big picture when reporting on the factory tour here in an upcoming video. Thanks as always for watching. Click on the like button if you found this video informative. I'm hoping to do more about the events of today as time and travel permit over the next few days and weeks.